Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Steve Warner. Today I would like to talk about arithmetic sequences. So here is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Uh, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. Notice that the first term of this sequence is 1, the second term is 4, and so on. Also notice that to get from 1 to 4, we add 3. And to get from 4 to 7, we also add 3, and so on. This number 3 is called the common difference of the sequence. So why is it called the common difference? Well, another way to compute the common difference is to subtract any term from the next term. So for example, 4 minus 1 is 3, 7 minus 4 is 3, and so on. Whenever you subtract one term from the next term, you always get the same number, and once again, that's called the common difference. So, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the difference d between consecutive terms is constant. And the number d is called the common difference of the sequence. So once again, this sequence that we just looked at, 1, 4, 7, 10, is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 3. Okay, let's look at a simple example. The second term of an arithmetic sequence is 15, and the third term is 10. What is the first term? Okay, so let's write down the second term is 15. The third term is 10. And we want to figure out what the first term is. Well, we could just count backwards along the sequence. To get from 10 to 15, we have to add 5. So we're going to add another 5 to get that the first term is 20, which is choice E. This particular problem was pretty simple, so we were able to solve it just by counting. In other words, we didn't really have to worry about any of the formalities of whether the common difference was positive or negative. Uh, but in harder questions, we might need to be more careful. So just note that in this particular example, the common difference is 10 minus 15, which is negative 5. A common mistake would be to say that the common difference here is 5. Let's look at arithmetic sequences and their relationship to linear equations. Okay, recall for a moment that the slope of a line is given by rise over run, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are points on the line. Don't worry about the technical details too much right now. It'll all become clear in just a moment. Let's look at this sequence from the first example, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on. Uh, remember that this is an arithmetic sequence, and we can identify this sequence with points as follows. Notice that the first term of the sequence is 1, the second term is 4, the third term is 7, and so on. So we can identify these terms of the sequence with the points 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 7, and so on. Let's choose two of these points. Um, let's say 2, 4, and I'll choose the point 6, 16. The slope of the line passing through these two points is 16 minus 4 over 6 minus 2 which is 12 over 4, or 3. Does that number look familiar? It should, because it's just the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. So in other words, we can find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence by just computing the slope of a line passing through two points, as I just did. 
This identification of arithmetic sequences with linear equations gives us a nice method for finding the common difference as long as we know any two terms of the sequence. This is nice because in the previous example, we needed to know two consecutive terms. Let's try another example. Each term of a certain sequence is greater than the term before it. The difference between any two consecutive terms in the sequence is always the same number. If the fifth and ninth terms of the sequence are 33 and 97 respectively, what is the twelfth term? Okay, so as we just did, I'm going to identify the terms of the sequence with points on a line. Well, the fifth term of the sequence is 33, and the ninth term of the sequence is 97. So we can get the common difference of the sequence by finding the slope of the line passing through those two points, which we get by computing 97 minus 33 over 9 minus 5. You can do this right on your calculator to get that the common difference is 16. Okay, so the ninth term of the sequence is 97, and we want to get to the 12th term of the sequence, so we have to add 16 to 97 three times to get a total of 145. So the 12th term of this arithmetic sequence is 145. The information that we already covered is all that you really need to know. But just for completeness, I'm going to talk about the arithmetic sequence formula, and this will also give you an alternative way to solve some of these problems. So, more advanced students may already know the arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. In this formula, a sub n is the nth term of the sequence. For example, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence. Let's look at this example here, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0, negative 5, negative 10, and so on. The first term of this sequence is 20. The common difference of this sequence is 15 minus 20, which is negative 5. So using the arithmetic sequence formula, we have a sub n is equal to a1, which is 20, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 5. Once again, be careful. It's negative 5 this time, not positive 5. We could simplify this if we want by distributing. And we could combine the 20 and the 5 to get 25 minus 5n. So for example, if we want to compute the 50th term of this sequence, we can now just plug the number 50 into this formula to get 25 minus 5 times 50. Simply type that into our calculator to get negative 225. Let's go back to example 3 and give one more solution to that problem using the arithmetic sequence formula. Okay, remember that the formula is an equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, the fifth term is given to be 33, so we have 33 equals a1 plus 4d. If, if we're looking at the fifth term, then n minus 1 is 5 minus 1, which is 4. And the ninth term of the sequence is 97, so we have 97 equals a1 plus 8d. Once again, it's the ninth term, so n minus 1 is 8. I'm now going to subtract the two equations to find the common difference. 97 minus 33 is 64. When we subtract the a1s, they cancel, and 8d minus 4d is 4d. Finally, we divide each side of this last equation by 4, 
to get that D is 16 as before. And once again, since we have the ninth term of the sequence as 97, to get to the 12th term, we're going to add the common difference three times, which is equivalent to adding 16 times three. And that comes to 145 as before. This last algebraic solution is definitely more tedious than the previous solution. I always prefer on standardized tests to use the method of identifying arithmetic sequences with linear equations as opposed to doing this more formal method, which is probably the way your teachers would want you to do it in school.